All right, boys and girls and everyone, we have the newest products that have come out recently. The combined powers Lugia with the the Lugia power box with the combined powers and all that. Uh, premium collection with Suicune, Lugia EX, and Ho EX. I believe these came out of the TCG collection case thing. That's like $300, $400 or so. So, so yeah, we're definitely going to be opening this. And also, let's add in another new product that just came out, the Mabalstiff um, thing. So let's go right into this. Anyways, let's get right into opening this. So uh, let's put the Mabalstiff in the bag real quick, and let's start uh, ripping into this bad boy. All right. So yeah, these these promos are actually amazing. Obviously, like the most, a lot of the fan favorites pokemon from gen 2 the legendaries so we have the gold silver and crystal game mascots literally that they should they should have literally just called it the gold silver and crystal nostalgia trip or something but yeah that's exactly what we have here the lugia and the ho -Oh and the suicune let me actually take out all of these just to see them real quick in the front okay so we got a ho -Oh. All right, beautiful. Although um, it looks like it might be off center, and uh, pretty off center, I think. Uh, left to right, and what are these? Okay, oh my Lanta! Whoa, these cards are actually gorgeous. Sunseed and Scorching Charcoal. Man, these cards are beautiful. What the heck? Gorgeous. All right, let's see what's uh, let's see what's here. Oh, the Lugia. All right, the Lugi, the Lugi, the Luigi. And on the on the other side, we have Suicune, lovely Suicune with drops in the ocean. Gorgeous card as well. Gorgeous. And a Mr. Mime. What the heck is a Mr. Mime doing here? What the heck? Why is it so goofy looking? Oh my lord! Well, anyways, that's uh, that's those you know those cards are pretty cool. Nothing is super fan favoritey, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. All right, anyways, let's go right into the box here real quick. Let me put. Uh, let me see. Does it hold like that? All right. So we got the Lugia promo, the the jumbo promo. All right, the Lugia. All right, with the Rising Wind Searcher deck for a basic energy card and attach it to your Pokemon, this Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. Arrow Break. Uh, doesn't look too bad, I think. you get, I think you can power this up pretty quickly. But, yeah, that's what's there. And let's see the packs that are in this box. All righty. Wow, there's a ton of packs. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Gucci, Gucci. All right, we, we're looking at Paradox Rift, Paradox Rift, of Sin Flames, of Sin Flames, of Sin Flames, Paradox Rift, Paradox Rift, of Sin Flames, and the Scarlet Violet Base. So we're looking at three Scarlet Violet Base. We're looking at, holy, okay, maybe I should organize this a bit. Okay, how, how, what are we cooking? What exactly is being cooked right now? Okay, we have four of Sin Flames and four. Looking at four Paradox Rift. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let you know what? Let me just go right into the Mabalstiff. So out of Mabalstiff, we got the Mabalstiff, Mabalstiff, and Mamastiff. All right, cool. Not a, you know, Mabalstiff was a cool character if you played the Scarlet Violet games, but uh, not really that... Uh, recognizable of a pokemon it's literally just like a an ugly <laughs> an ugly dog i know some people will try to cancel me for that but here's the promo cards let's let me look at the promos real quick okay we have we have the mabalsif right here cool ex nice ex right there nice ex all right pretty cool pretty cool and the mastiff with the pro with the uh, code card Okay, we got the mastiff right there. Not bad. And actually, let's uh, let's go ahead and give this code card. All right, whatever comes in this code card, you guys get. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. All right, nice promo cards, nice collection pieces. It looks like we have even more Scarlet Violet packs. All the Scarlet Violet packs. Okay, so we're looking at um, two two Paradox Rift, one Scarlet Violet, and one Obsidian Flames. Not bad, cooking. All right, not bad, not bad. 
All right, let's get right into opening up all these packs. We're looking at a ton of Scarlet Violet packs. So let's just get started with Scarlet Violet Base. Let's just do a nice, uh, quick opening, because why not? We can just, uh, you know, these packs are whatever, obviously. We've, uh, we're, we're looking for the best cards. We can look for the Miriam. Miriam is like, what, $100 or something? So Magnemite, Metacham, Quaxwell, Cyclozar. We got the Toad School, Wiglet into Iron Treads. All right, our first EX, Iron Treads. Into the second pack of Scarlet Valley Base. Okay, so Iron Treads, not bad, not bad. We have gone the Great Tusk before. And, well, yesterday, actually, let's talk a bit about yesterday's news in the Pokemon Direct. So, yeah, we got the news for the Pokemon Legends Zygarde uh, game. Basically, ZA is Zygarde, if you didn't know. Um, so, yeah, that was like a Pokemon that was left that um, undeveloped in the Scarlet Violet games. No, not Scarlet Violet. X and Y. They didn't, make an, they didn't make a Pokemon Z. So, they usually go like, for example, Ruby Sapphire. They'll make an Emerald game. And, well, they didn't make a Z game for the X and Y, which would have made sense. You know, X, Y, Z. And they didn't develop on Zygarde. Okay, nothing crazy there. Here's a nice code card, though. And so, they so didn't develop on Zygarde. So, they're def definitely doing that now. But it's this game is obviously going to be in 3,000 years uh, in the past. So, there is this character called AZ. If you didn't play the games... That lived for 3,000 years and uh, was a guy who, like, basically threw a n nuclear bomb or something. Like, a, a really, like, a almost like a nuclear bomb into Skeledurge. All right, two fire types. Nothing crazy. And basically, he threw, uh, 3,000 years ago or so, he threw, like, a nuclear bomb uh, with Pokemon or energy or something. There was, like, a war um and uh, all that stuff that was like so they're probably gonna show that war or or something or the other on that game obviously a kid kitty version of it but you know we'll take what we can get anyways uh so we're we're into paradox rift right now we're actually entering to paradox rift so i was talking about how the tcg would get affected and oh we have a luxurious cape gold card nothing too amazing but a gold card nonetheless not bad not bad all right so how does this affect the tcgs well uh mega pokemon got announced mega evolution got announced at the end as a teaser for the games because uh well mega evolution was like the best gimmick for a mechanic for pokemon battling and uh here wait 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 oh 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 nothing crazy station though not bad not bad and what well, with mega pokemon coming back we can expect uh some sets of pokemon cards in 2025 having mega pokemon so basically like legends arceus we had like two or three sets dedicated to um the, that game that had pokemon from that game so i would expect scarlet violet the end sets to have those mega evolution pokemon and my theory is that uh, come on paradox rift what is happening these packs are weighed they're weighing the packs now pokemon is weighing the packs and keeping all the good ones that's crazy that is crazy um anyway so they're probably going to implement the mega evolutions during the end of scar violet and I believe, just like V-Star, so V-Max is into V-Stars, uh, came V-Stars, right, a rarity in, like, uh, the, the, during the Pokemon Legends Arceus era, I believe so. All right, we have a Steelix, not bad. Okay, we're ending off with uh, Paradox Rift. All right, I do, I do like Obsidian Flames a little bit more than Paradox Rift. Um, so we're probably going to get a new rarity of card, that's my theory. Uh, don't know what it would be called because we have EXs. Uh, so probably like EX Plus. <laughs> e EX, EX, EXL. Oh, Gucci. A nice Garchomp. Full art. Okay, 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 okay. I see you, I see you. Uh, still expecting to get something really nice though. Anyways, let's go right into the last pack of Paradox Rift. So yeah, Mega Evolutions, uh, I hope they're probably going to have like a ton of more HP because uh, right now the biggest Pokemon is like 330 HP, 330 HP. So Mega Evolutions will probably be like more like 400, 380 or something. 
All right, we got the Gliscar in too. Kingdra. All right, you know I never expected to have a Pokemon close to 400 HP, but obviously we're here. We're here with it. All right, last batch of Pokemon packs. We got the Obsidian Flames. Nothing amazing as of yet, but hopefully we get there. Hopefully we get something crazy. All right, well, anyways, we got Houndor. And so, like I was saying yesterday, that um, EXs in Full Arts in the X and Y era were just... I, You know, they didn't need, like, a whole scenery artwork for them to be cool. They were just really cool, especially the Mega Evolutions. Mega Evolutions just went so hard. I really do expect more Mega Evolution Pokemon to come in, like Delph. Well, I'm guessing they're going to make more Megas for the... Um, Hollow starters, because no one really cares about Delphox or Chestnut. I'm sorry for those fans who do. But, uh, yeah, we are we should expect, like, a Mega Evolution of Chestnut and Delphox. I don't really know for Greninja. I'm, I sure, I'm sure they will, because Greninja is just a favorite Pokemon. But Greninja already has a form. It's called Ash Greninja, if you didn't know. If you haven't kept up with the Pokemon anime, Ash Greninja was pretty much one of Ash's, like, strongest Pokemon in the show. Oh my lord, what is happening? We're getting cooked. Are you kidding me? Wasn't Scarlet Violet supposed to have the best pull rates? All right, two packs left. Anyway, so yeah, I'm expecting to get more Mega Evolutions, obviously new Megas and whatnot. So hopefully, like, they get Megas. They actually, hopefully, they may get Megas of these Scarlet Violet Pokemon. Because uh, I still think these Scarlet Violet Pokemon could use some help in design-wise. Uh, although a lot of them are really powerful and battle already because megas are kind of op in battle here you go rogrov into absol ex okay another ex all right three x's in 12 packs or something i forgot how many packs there are all right last pack here we go boys for all the all the packs for all the boxes all the 60 dollars and the 20 dollars like 80 dollars in between both of these things all right here we go togepi into lamp and gloom bronzor we got Dragonair into Armorouge, Armorouge into Amoongus, into Glodzar, and finally, the last chance to guess it, get an SIR, and we get ourselves a a a r Scizor. Okay, that's how we end it off. No SIR, and a full art Absol. What a pack to end it on beautiful amazing okay well no sir though but we did get this and uh what else did we get we got this and this so these were all the cards we got out of all those packs don't even know what came out of what but honestly i don't really know i don't really think the premium collection box is worth it at 60 dollars. so i wouldn't buy if i were you i would just buy the promos the promos are where it's at. The co the packs and all that aren't really that worth. All right. Well, anyways, guys, appreciate it. Hope you all stick for the next one. Uh, catch me live when I'm live. I do a uh, live ripping chip and whatnot. Not whatnot. Not whatnot. Uh, here on YouTube. Here on YouTube. All right. Anyways, guys, appreciate y'all. Have a great one.